When you talk to customers at one of the two fish hook grills in the Atlanta area, you get the feeling that they have found something really good and they want to tell you about it. I love the um, how fresh it is, it's healthy, it's delicious. I love the shrimp tacos. They're amazing. <laughs> and it's quick and easy. You come in, get your food, eat healthy, great food, and then you're out. I got the mahi sandwich, um, nice tender piece of fish, really good flavor. And uh, for the price, I was expecting like a mahi nugget, but actually, it's a, it's a Whopper. Wait, is that a trademark? Don't worry about it, Alex. The portion sizes at Fish Hook are just right. And the concept here is really simple. Fresh fish, chicken, awesome sauces on the table, great healthy sides at a price you can afford. But the execution is anything but simple here. Fish Hook's owner, Sean Lupton Smith, is a very successful restaurateur with a great track record in the franchise world. But he wanted his own concept the ability to change the menu when he wanted. Fish Hook Grill honors the food Sean grew up on as a kid in South Africa. Coming from South Africa, our, in, in South Africa what we have, we have a lot of, uh, a little bit more outdoors climate. We have a lot of grills and sort of, you know, people get together around the grill and, and it's a little bit more, it's probably a little healthier. Instead of deep frying it or pan searing it, we actually just stick the, the, the fish directly, basically, you know, from the cooler onto the grill, grill it, and then serve it, and then typically serve it with a healthy side item. We can grill our fish perfectly here, better than a fine dining restaurant, because our guys are grilling 200 pieces of fish every day. They can do it better than an executive chef can, because that's what they're doing every single day. They're just grilling fish, and they're grilling, you know, chicken. They know how to do it. They do you know, hundreds of pieces a day. So even if the piece of fish is a little tapered off at the end, they know where to position that on the grill. They know exactly when to turn it over. They know how to season the grill that it doesn't stick. They know, they, they are, they are, we call them our chef masters. Those guys are doing it day in and day out. So we've taken out the, 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 the intricacies of having to grill your own fish at home. Sean knows that launching one successful restaurant, let alone two, is not easy. He's assembled a dream team of sorts to get Fish Hook up and running fast. Chef Jeffrey McGar owns a well-respected restaurant consulting firm called Food for Thought. Chef McGar personally oversaw the launch of Fish Hook at Atlantic Station and the Fish Hook in Roswell. He has a Midas touch at opening restaurants, and he loves the Fish Hook concept. What's great about us is we're a fast fire fish grill, so you walk in and you place your order and you get, you know, within seven, eight, nine minutes, you're gonna have fresh hot food served to your table. Um, just came straight off the grill. It wasn't sitting around pre-prepped. All across the board, we just dropped our pricing down a little bit. We think uh, it'll help out the families in this economy. Um, you know, that's a big deal. And we, we're trying to dial in our whole entire menu so that it's all under $10. There might be one or two things that are like higher end that are on there, but for the most part, I mean, every, you know, you can get a quality, restaurant quality meal for under $10, which I think is a, a really big, you know, part of our business. Another big part of the fish hook business is heart and inspiration. Sean learned the restaurant business from his big brother Mark. But one night back in 2002, Mark and Sean were out for an evening in Buckhead. Mark was walking across the street when a guy who had been stopped by the police saw their drawn guns and decided to take off. So the guy freaked out and stepped on the gas, went into oncoming traffic. That was when my brother was walking and then he hit, struck my brother, and then drove over him and killed him. Sean was right down the street. His American dream had become a nightmare. My brother and I, were, we were you know, 15 months apart. He was 15 months older than I was, and he was a role model for me and a, and a mentor. My, my dad died when we were young, when we were five and six years old, and then the two of us, and my younger brother, and then my sisters later on, we, um, we all kind of, we kind of bonded together, and he was kind of like the, the, the leader of the family. Sean had learned the lessons of his brother well. Mark always told him, no matter what, try to improve. Sean has done that, moved on with his life, and now about 15 years after coming to America to help his big brother, Sean loves the country in which he experienced so much pain and so much pleasure. America is an amazing, amazing place, and I think it's, it often takes time for foreigners or for immigrants to actually fully appreciate 
the, the, the sacrifice and the, and the amazing setup that the United States has created. What Sean, Jeffrey and the great Fishhook team have created is really worth a visit. Fishhook Grill Atlantic Station in Atlanta and Crossville Road in Roswell, two great restaurants. Try the awesome Piri Piri sauces, have a glass of wine, sit back and admire the photos of South Africa on the wall, some of which Sean snapped with his own camera. Fishhook Grill, a great taste of South Africa from a guy who is living the American dream.